I am doing something a little different today. All right, let's go inside. See what treasures we can find. I tell you, this set like just brings back so many memories for me. So many. I'm so attracted to these things. I totally want to like make something like this one day. So this next booth is our very own Carrie's booth. today it is Memorial Day and so um, no shipping day it was just kind of an odd day anyway and the Charleston Antique Mall is having a store-wide sale 15% off it's not a huge amount but every little bit counts right so I am here now it is the third day of the sale um, and we'll see you know what others have uh, left behind for me also, I do know that a lot of the dealers restock like Saturday and Sunday, so could be some good stuff in here still. We're going to go in and we're going to see what we can find. Now, what I do know about this place is the music is usually pretty loud, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping I get enough footage out of this to be able to make a video, but the uh, only way to find out is to get in there and see. So, let's get shop done. Alright, let's go inside. See what treasures we can find. Oh, looks like they're getting ready to put some more stuff up on the wall here. Oh, we got a little stagecoach lamp. That's really sweet. Oh, look at that little miniature with the western western goodies in it. I'm so attracted to these things. I totally want to like make something like this one day. Not a bad price at $32. Oh, let's come in here. I saw this glass jar. Blown glass. It, yeah, it does have bubbles in it. But it's not like intentional bubbles. That's like kind of didn't take a lot of time in the process of making it kind of bubbles. Interesting. Good price though at $17.95. Got a ball pitcher. A couple of ball pitchers. And, ooh, I see some blue. Like, ah, oh, and I don't have my black light. What is wrong with me? I don't have my black light. Um, pretty sure this color blue glows. That could be wrong. It could be wrong. $10, not a bad price on that. And there's 15% off of that. So, I think, yes. This would be. 15% off on that one. Oh, six dollars. Even at six dollars. I think some of my live sale people would really like the uh, Fenton shoe. Is it Fenton? Let's see, is it marked? This one is not marked. I'm not so sure this is Fenton, but it is Daisy and Button and it's that beautiful, beautiful blue. And then there's the little pair of goblets. Those are fourteen dollars and it would be fourteen firm. That might not be a bad price either, but I do think I'm going to get these two pieces right here. I don't know why, but I'm like really attracted to that painting right there. It's like, I love the simplicity and I love the color of the black and the burgundy together. Hmm. Ooh, look at that guy. He's pretty awesome too. Oh, look at this whole set of Franciscan Desert Rose. I tell you, this set like just brings back so many memories for me, so many from my childhood and actually using these dishes up at my aunt and uncle's house up in Carpinteria, California. They have quite a few kitchen items in this booth, quite a few. Pretty cool stuff too, priced right. Very nice booth. I believe this is a Sears. No, this says California's Pottery. Didn't Sears make like the Frog series? Kind of about the same time as the Merry Mushroom. He's $21.95. Again, really good price. 
<sighs> we got some cool mid-century stuff in this booth. 20 on the blue, 20 on the ashtray. I'm liking the prices I'm seeing. It's uh, it's very nice. Oh, look at that vintage kitsch bar with two stools. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Gotta have a place to put it though. I do not. <laughs> I have no room for such things in my house. Okay, let's see. Nothing calling me too strongly in this booth, so we'll keep moving on. All right, we'll take a look in some of these cases here. I'm always intrigued by little pieces of pottery that could be something, but I am always discouraged by cases because I hate having to ask somebody to open a case and then not actually buying the item. So to me, cases are very, very discouraging. I just want to be able to see the prices and look at what I want to look at. This is some glowing glass, uranium glass, in the Indiana Pyramid pattern. I'm not sure I've ever seen that pattern. It's kind of cool. They're asking, oh, it's being sold as a set, so it's the, it's the tray, the perfume bottle, and a powder. I don't see a powder. Oh, there's the perfume bottle back there. So all the pieces together for $265. And this is some elegant depression glass with the really nice etch. I do like that as well. I am going to resist. I am kind of in love with this uh, 1970s wall hanging. It's $35 minus 15%, so it's still about 30 bucks. I'm not sure. I may come back to this one. I might have to do it. Oh, I see a enamel bowl here. Oh, it's a Sasha Brasta pedestal bowl. That's quite interesting. Yeah. There's the uh, signature on that. Sasha B. Sasha B. Some stuff was done by Sasha Brastoff and then some stuff was done by students of Sasha Brastoff. And I can't remember if it's the full name is the students or the Sasha B is the students. Gonna have to look that up. Oh, look. There's another matching one, but see, this one doesn't pull me quite as hard because there is no bird. But then there's there's Gumby and Pokey at the beach. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. There's a fun set. Those are plastic. 30 bucks. Just fun. Just fun. Ooh, nice desk. I like the kidney-shaped desk. Not quite enough room for me and all of my monitors and computer equipment that are a must have. The older and more tired my eyes get and the bigger the screens I need. Got a little elephant planter here. Let's see how much you are. You are. How much are you? Oh, I can't see your tag. $10, so he'd be $8.50. Yeah, he's kind of cute, but I'm going to be. Very, very picky. If like I remember one of these items when I get done and it's just still calling in my brain, I'll go back and find it. That's kind of how I do an antique store, unless, you know, it's just like a no-brainer when I pick it up. But if it's an item that's like, yeah, maybe, maybe not, that's what I do. Like, they're calling this a candle holder, and I guess it is. I was thinking it could have been a toothpick, but no, it's a candle holder with kind of that 60s glaze going there. Ooh, what are you? You look like you're made in Israel. It says Jerusalem, brass taper candle holder, and it's kind of in a brutalist style. It is signed there. I can't quite make out what that says. Hmm, but it, I can't see the Israel. That's a nice piece, very nice piece. But again, it's not like something, if I, you know, if it was at the thrift store and I found it, I'd definitely pick it up. But got to source a little differently when you're at an antique mall because you're going to have slimmer margins. So you have to think about your purchases a little more. Look at that. That looks very mid-century with the mushrooms. What is that artist? I think it's a G. 
Roberts. I want to say Roberts. Let's see if the tag tells us. 60. Not a bad price for that at all. Not a bad price. Oh, got little things and little cubbies. And today is kind of a relaxing day for me. It's a low pressure to get stuff done day. So I'm just kind of taking my time and tootling around in here and bringing you along with me. I wish I could do like the director view, but again, I can't do it when there's music in the background because I can't use my special microphone and, and drown out the music. So unfortunately, I'm not able to do that. So we're just gonna do it this normal little way of me showing you everything. Now I did pick up some uh, drawer pulls the other day. And these are not priced bad either. Six dollars for two. I'm trying to see what it says on there. It just says Bra Ke Kebler, Kebler Brass Company. There we go, now you can see it. So basically $3 a piece. Some of these things can bring some really good money for people who restore furniture or just want to turn something into that vintage -y kind of feel. All right, let's keep on moving. So this next booth is our very own Carrie's booth. See, you might recognize some of these things. Um, so we'll do a little, little shopping in Carrie's booth. Maybe do a little rearranging as things have gotten out of, out of place. Um, so in this booth, if you see anything, you are more than welcome to reach out via email. Carrie actually reads those emails usually first. So just let her know if you see something here that, uh, you just have to have. And I'm sure she can make that happen or give you you know, the pricing or, or what have you. She's got a lot of little miniatures in here. Some reverse painted bottles, which I might, I might have to snag since I already got the ones at that other consignment store. I might have to snag a couple more there to uh, go along with it. Lots and lots of little miniature goodies in her showcase. Lots of dollhouse furniture and Barbie clothes. All her Barbie clothes. Some really, really nice ones. Very, very cool. All right, she's got magnets. She, she does baggies of jewelry too. Lots of books. Looks like people have been shopping in here. I see lots of stuff kind of out of place, which is good. Oh, we got some vintage cat eye glasses. Those are pretty fantastic. We've got a little lady head vase up here. This is a little glass lady trinket dish. Come around the corner here. She's got some Baby clothes could be used for doll clothes. Some records. Cool blendo picture there. Let's see what she's got on that. 35 on the blendo. 35 on the blendo. Got some Bob's big boy guys there. Nice canister. Got one of those horse clocks up there. Those can do really well on eBay. If she doesn't sell it here, I might have to let her know that. She's got a little box purse. I don't know how much she has on that. Oh yes, I do. It's $45. $45. You probably remember seeing her buy that while we were out shopping together. Another little case down here with some little goodies. She does have some vintage clothing on a rack in here. Oh, look at that old, old cat. Wowza. I think she's got 35 on him. Got some moonstone. 
some other odds and ends over here. It's so fun. I see some of the things that we have been out and uh, purchased on the same shopping trip. Oh yeah, like those. I remember those. She got the the cotton decor there on the wall. I remember buying those. But again, yeah, just reach out to the niche lady at gmail.com. You can uh, just let her know if you see something in her booth that you would like to purchase. And that's about it. I fibbed. She's got one more little showcase here with some goodies in it. It's got some little stuff. I'll just stay on that a minute so you can kind of read the tags and look through. Pins and jewelry pieces and such. And then we got some sports related things. Now, that's really it this time comic books. We all have to come down here and shop for comic books. I am now in the booth next to Carrie's, so this is no longer things that I can offer unless I actually purchase them. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm out of the carry zone. I'm now kind of going through. You can see this, uh, this antique mall is big and there's lots of stuff and lots of different vendors here. Oh, I love that. That's pretty. Very feminine booth this one is. Lots of little teacups and saucers and such. I like this. I like this pattern. Look at it. It's like little roses. Like little rosebuds all over those wine glasses. Those are sweet. They want 24. We got the Muppet thing going here. Now this guy, this guy right here is uh, like a TikTok sensation right now. There's a viral, like a, a share thing going around with the, the Swedish chef. And they are asking $55 on him. So apparently he's kind of rare, but they've got Miss Piggy. Oh, God, I forget. Oops, I'm gonna have to fix him. I forget this guy's name. Oh, there's a couple of Miss Piggies. Animal. Bozzy Bear. Who did I? Oh, Miss Piggy. Come on. Get off the floor. There you go. Put you back. This piece caught my eye. It's, it's all black and it's got a really neat line to it. And I thought it was glass at first, but it's not. It's actually pottery. Then I flipped it over and I saw this. It's Whatever that symbol is there, which I think could be Native American, Mesa, Arizona, 1963. So that is a very old piece. And it's the kind of piece that really just is an, a natural accent piece in so many different decor styles. Let's see what they're asking for it. I think I'm going to pick this one up if it's not bad. Oh, $12. I do like that. And it's 15% off. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and pick that up. I want to learn more about it. Okay, these totally caught my eye. They're like, um, you put them under your plant, your pots, you like potted plants, pots. I don't know, however you say that. Uh, and they're little paws. How much are you? Let's see. As I have some that are, oh my gosh, I can't do this one handed, apparently. It's just not cooperating. Okay. $21 for the set of four. Yeah, for personal, yeah, I, I'm just, that's, I can wait. I can find some that I like better. Had they been like a really, like, I couldn't say no price, I would have grabbed them. But I don't need to be spending that on myself right now. So I will keep looking for resale treasures. Because you can find them in antique malls. It's just going to be a little harder and possibly a little slimmer margins. Unless you know something that the dealers don't. And art is one of those things like you can really score on. If they don't know what they have and you know what they have. I, I'm staring at this one because I really like the colors in it. What do they say it is? It's Original Oil by Stillman for $225. Now sometimes 
um, paying $225 seems like a lot, but if that's a thousand dollar painting, it's not so much, but I, I don't know. I'm just throwing that number out there. It has happened. I have done it. I love what this dealer did with their little ice cream cone um, dessert cups. They made little tissue paper ice cream scoops. That's pretty clever. I like that. I like, I like to find ideas like that as I'm going through a mall too because I do have my own space in an antique mall, so sometimes you just can't come up with the same ideas and it's good to uh, get them from somebody else. This is a booth that I have found some um, bluebirds of happiness in at really good prices and look what I found. I found a plethora of the Cardinals of Love. <laughs> Now this one, I wonder why that one is 20 and those are 30. They're a little bit different. It's a little more than I'd like to pay. Even with the 15% off, that would bring me down to like $21 a piece. I don't know, I'm gonna think about, then there's those little flashed ones back there. I'm gonna think about maybe picking up one or two of those for live sale because I know my people really do love the birds. I just don't know how much they love the the red cardinals versus the blue bird of happiness. So I'm gonna have to gonna have to think about that one as I peruse through the rest of this booth and kind of see if there's anything else I need to see out of a case before I ask for help. Oh, I love the opalescent. That's Jefferson. Little footed bowl. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I am falling in love with this little guy. Look at the eyes on these birdies. Like, they're so realistic. They're like staring at me. Saying, you are bringing us home, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much am. 1895 with a 15% discount. You're coming home with me. Like how spectacular this guy is. When I say he's huge, uh, he's huge. There's no way I would want to ship that. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. He's pretty spectacular though. Oh, that is Snoopy. Snoopy glass. Oh, that's interesting. It's a, just a 2015 though. Not super old. Oh, that's a neat piece. That is glass. It's uh, hmm, twenty dollars. Yeah, it's like a like a Millie Fiori Marina kind of thing. It's pretty spectacular for twenty dollars. And then there's fifteen percent off of that, so it's really only seventeen dollars. I think I'm gonna grab that. This guy caught my eye. Oh my gosh, look how amazing he is. He is all beaded. Um, I don't have a hand free, but there's his tag there. $50. He's from Jalisco. That's, that's really cool. I recently passed some of these little coconut shell masks behind at um, Goodwill. And in doing the research, I discovered they actually can bring some pretty good money. And this one's only $8.50, so I think I'm going to pick her up. All right, I just spotted this baby here. Ooh, look at that. Pretty spectacular piece of Murano glass. It's got a summer so. Summer so just means there's a blending of different colors. It's not a huge blend on this one. It's just like darker and a lighter green. It is $36 and then it would be, it would be three, like five bucks off of that. So it would be 31. Now, if I were to list this on eBay, I could probably get about 50 bucks uh, on Cherish. I could probably get a little bit more, but I do sit on items like this a little bit longer. I do love that green though. I do love it. I think I'm going to get it. And for those trying to learn about this glass, um, it's really hard to convey 
like the feel but this thing is so heavy <laughs> like they are a thick solid glass and this is the bottom they polish that pontil very very smooth and you should see those little scratches let me just see if i can shine the light just right see those scratches you actually want to see those on a mid-century piece of glass because you can't duplicate that you can't do that on a reproduction that's only done over time and little micro scratches so there you go oh is love a case full of glass nothing really super calling me in there though and then we got some little stuff in a case here. The things I'm looking for when I'm at the antique mall are not, you know, the littles. I am looking for those high dollar items because like a 15% off sale, let's say, let's just take a $100 item, that's $15 off. So that makes it pretty worthwhile to come in here and shop for those things that I can turn around and list online and not just make, you know, my 20 bucks, but, you know, make 50 bucks on. So it's just a different, different way of looking at things, different way of shopping. You're not looking for your normal, like I can find this at Goodwill kind of stuff. So I do veer to the glass and the mid century and the cool stuff. Look at these nesting chicken baskets. Those are fantastic. Their combs are wood. Oh, there's five of them? There's five of them, $42. I don't think I've ever seen such cool nesting baskets. I love them. A little more than I can pay on those, but I love them. I spotted this uh, mid-century, I have to set that down here mid-century little brandy they're calling it a goblet it's a snifter thirty dollars though it's pretty it's pretty good and then there's this blue empoli piece here for 50 that's more than i can pay i just spotted these um these are pink milk glass butterfly trinket dishes i believe they're jeanette glass jeanette made a lot of the pink uh, but it's only $10 for the pair, so I'm gonna grab those. All right, I spotted amongst all of this blue glass here, this little guy that's, he's not really a swung base, but he's kind of a swung base. And he's got a blue kind of swirl going in there. A lot of elements to this piece. And uh, it does look like it's got some age on it. And it's got a nice feel, so this will be like a little mystery piece for me to try to figure out and it's only $12.99 so I think I will pick that up and figure it out. Looks like there might be some interesting things down this little row. Some vintage Santas but they're big heavy chalkware. Oh a little Stife teddy bear. He is $85. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing too exciting on this road today. Oh wow, it's a whole series of Dr. Doolittle books. Oh, how fun is that? I can't tell you how many times in my life I have been nicknamed Dr. Doolittle <laughs> because of all of my animal goings-ons. That's an interesting piece of carnival glass. I don't, I, I have to get my hands empty again, sitting here carrying things around. They're a little busy. They're usually much quicker at getting things out of my hands, but um, I think I'm gonna have to come back here when I have both hands and take a little bit closer look at a few things in this booth. Okay, I am back in this booth taking a peek at this piece of carnival glass. Now, what's very interesting is they have called it a cobalt. It's definitely not. It's green. With carnival glass, you always go by the base color. And this, the, there's no denying this is green. It's like an emerald green. Uh, so they're calling it cobalt, and it's not. And they're saying it's rare. And I don't know, because I haven't looked it up, but what I can tell you is it's pretty spectacularly beautiful. 
and it's the kind of piece I do like to bring to my live sales. So I'm going to pay up a little bit for this one at 20. It's going to cost around what 25 minus 15%, whatever that is. Can't do that math in my head and talk at the same time. Um, but 20 something and I think I'll be okay. Oh, some cool pieces of glass on this little shelf for this dealer. I love the stuff that they have, but they know what they have. No denying they know what they have, so no great bargains here. That's a beautiful swung vase, though, that I must look closer at. It is 39. Oh, it doesn't have the weight that I expected. I don't think this is an old piece. Look, there's no scratches. No scratches, cloudy bottom, and the weight is wrong. That, I do believe, is a newer reproduction piece. Whereas this one does have some age on it, it feels like, but it's not really that spectacular. Okay. Oh, hello, little briar horse Appaloosa. You're interesting. You've got an interesting coloring that almost looks like somebody did a paint job on it, which is not horrible because there's collectors of those. Um, I forget the term for it when they're when they're painted. Mm, I forget the name for it. Rachel knows because Rachel's doing that to some, uh, but I know she doesn't have one like this, so I'm gonna pick this up for Rachel. And then look at this little kitty cat creamer. Ah, my hands are full again. Stand by. Okay. Let's see who makes you. Oh, you're a Shawnee. Oh, that's bad. Dealers, be careful of that. I don't fault them for making some money on it, though. Um, I really like this Shawnee. I really like this Shawnee. I, I don't think I've ever seen a cat pitcher creamer like this. I don't know. Did he have a lid at some point? I'm not so sure he did. I'm not so sure he did. So I'm going to pick him up. I see a decanter over here that has caught my eye. It is $65. Yeah, that's that's a good price. I'm not going to get that one. Oh, and there's one of the Ray Dunn birdhouses. Some Ray Dunn pieces are still worth the money. Just the more common pieces are not because that kind of phase is over yes I do I see it I see the fairy lamp this one is just an Indiana diamond point in the amber color amber not so exciting any other color but amber I probably would have picked that up <laughs> look at this guy pink hippo I think he's a bank I have to come back and look when my hands are empty again I actually really love these little whales too okay let me get my hands empty. Be right back. Okay, where were we? Let's look at you. You are $34. See, the stoppers shrink and fall inside these old banks. He's pretty cool. Uh, let's see how much the little whales are. They are, oh, they're only $8. He's got something going on the way he was made. I guess they both have that. I don't know what that's about. Oops. What is that about? Oh, he's got a broken fin. And I'm not that excited about the green one. Okay, I'm gonna leave those. Just not that excited. Ooh, look at the red and yellow glaze on that ashtray. <gasps> Ooh, $34. That is, love that. Like, what's a new thing to do with ashtrays? Because obviously we don't use them as ashtrays in the house anymore. Like used to be every house had one, but uh, it's got to be a way to repurpose some of these cool ashtrays. Look at this little guy here. What's in you? Oh, you're just a little case. Kind of like you, little case. How much are you? 26. Oh. It's, um, okay, these are affectionately called the, the booby kangaroos, <laughs> because his little boxing gloves, just the placement, the placement is just a little off there. He's 36. 
Oh, he's awful cute. He is a zoo line manicure donkey. So he holds, no, wait, oh, I see. He would hold something there. I, I'm confused. So he holds the scissors. Oh, his tail would hold the, the, the clippers. I got it. I got it. These are little Murano glass grapes. Let's see what you're priced at. You are $16. Oh, that's a very, very good price for these glass grapes. So I think I don't, hmm, now I'm torn because they're not the quality that I've seen of like some of the Italian blown glass ones. They, the Italian ones seem to be a little daintier, so hmm, maybe not. <gasps> oh, I know what these guys are and I can't show you. They were asking $18 a piece on those little frogs, which is not a bad price. They do go pretty high on eBay, I have a pair listed right now. Um, they're naughty. They're, they're, uh, well, they're not anatomically correct for frogs, but let's just say they're uh, anatomically correct <laughs> with all their, all their pieces and parts. All right, look around. This booth usually has some pretty good stuff. I do love that floor lamp right there. Very Art Nouveau. Someday, someday I'm going to have a house and just decorate with that kind of stuff when I don't have teenagers and uh, rowdy animals running around. 21 on the little crackle glass. Some Nemaji. Mm, got some very vintage coffee mugs, these plastic coffee mugs. I don't remember who makes these, but again, those colors just bring back memories. Look at this lamp. It is a uranium glass shade and they've got a black light in there so that it's like lit up glowing. It doesn't come through video. Like, I don't know why you can't see it the way I'm seeing it. But when I tell you that, that is, <laughs> that top you see there, the whole thing is that. I don't know why the bottom is like all, that's so weird. But anyway. <laughs> Um, $395, but oh, that is pretty amazing. I see more glass. And I see this elephant that says Murano, Italy. V. Nason, genuine Murano, $28. 15% off would be. It's gonna still be like 20 something. I think I think that's okay for me. I think I can double my money on that. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. And right above it is this beautiful ruby red. Murano just had the reds down. That's I, I just gotta say that. Now you can see in this, it looks like there's a little bit of an orange tinge. I do believe this might even no yeah, no. I think it's just, I, it's hard to say. Like there's orange when I hold it out this way. So it is a little bit Amberina-ish, isn't it? Ah, this one is $28 also. And again, now this isn't Murano. You know how I can tell? Look at that bottom. It's got a cloudy base, but it's got the scratches of age. So I'm a little confused on this piece. I don't know if it could be like a chalet or if it's a bohemian piece, but then for me, my brain just goes, I need to get it so I can figure it out so I can know for the next time. And at 28 minus 15%, I think I'll be okay. And then sometimes there's a piece that you just can't leave behind because she's too cute. <laughs> I think it's a little, it gets, I don't know. I guess these pieces are meant to go together and that's the, yeah, that fits on there. It's not marked on the bottom. It's $7. So yeah. Yeah. She's coming home with me too. Oh, this is such a gorgeous little arrangement of very Hollywood Regency style um, decor. These jewelry caskets, they used to go for a lot more money, um, but they're still desirable. That's just 
put together really nice. I have walked by this piece like four times now and it just keeps calling to me. Like, obviously it's the color. I love, love, dare I say love <laughs> the color. And I was just thinking that the design matches that little black one that I got. That would make a nice little set sitting up on my shelf, wouldn't it? Um, it is $29. Here's the bottom. It's, I don't know if that had a signature at one time, but it doesn't now. Ah, you know, it's probably valued right around there, but I just love it so much it needs to go in my pile. So here is a cool shelf of glass, including some Murano pieces, and the prices are pretty good. Now the smoky gray is not quite as desirable as some other colors, but this one, I don't know if that's coming through. It is signed on the bottom there. I see a 50 something. That's interesting. There, it's kind of coming through. Yeah, it's like my camera does not want to focus on it. There, there we go. There's the signature. So, um, I'm not sure that one is Murano. That might be some kind of a Swedish glass. It is $38. And then this one here is an Amberina. And it is only $15. And it's interesting with that little bubbly pattern. I don't know that I have seen that before. You can see the very scratched up bottom, so it looks cloudy, but it's not. It's just so scratched that it looks cloudy. Um, I think for 15, I will pick that one up and I take a peek at the other ones here. This one's kind of just a a yellow or gold, and it is 42. And then this one is. They're calling it a purple pinch bowl. It's a purple pinch bowl. It's got some definite weight to it. Might be a Blanco. Might be a Blanco. And then of course the moon and stars canisters. And then there is a swung vase. Oh, look what I found. I am going to pay that $38 for that because it's a great color. It's a great size, not too hard to ship. And uh, I think uh, I'm gonna be able to sell that one quite well. So I think that's a wrap. I'm gonna go check out. They're getting ready to close here pretty soon and I've got a lot of stuff to go wrap up. So stay tuned for the recap. I'll show you what I bought, what I paid, and how much it's worth when I resell it. Let's go.
fun. I don't do this very often because there's something about an antique mall where it's not quite the same treasure hunt as if you're like in a Goodwill and everything's priced at, you know, thrift store prices. So you have to work a little harder. You have to kind of know exactly what you're buying when you're at an antique mall, but still some tremendous profits to be had, as you could see by the recap. So I'm pretty happy. And, uh... I, I, I went mild this time. I only got like three little boxes of stuff. Sometimes I come out of here with quite a bit. Uh, but I'm, I'm trying to take it easy. I'm trying to really think about what I have time to process and get listed or get processed and cleaned up for my live sales. So getting trying to be a better businesswoman is what I'm trying to do. And I am hoping that I can help you guys do that through my journey as well. So uh, you may have noticed there's a new little button down in my channel and it is for my membership. And what that is, is basically there are now membership levels where you can see some exclusive content. My shipping videos actually be live stream shipping uh, will be included in the membership and some other cool things. So take a peek. If you hit the join button, it'll show you the levels and the perks that are involved with those levels. So i um, super excited to now have my life in such an organized fashion that I can add extra content and extra value to you guys. Uh, so with that, make sure you're subscribed. That's still free. Still don't worry about it. Like if you don't want to do a a membership it's quite all right I won't treat you any different uh, you are still valuable to me and I appreciate you supporting and watching my videos and so uh, make sure you are subscribed and hit the little bell notification so you know when I go live now with that go be profitable and make it fun we'll see you on the next one and now for some bonus go-kart footage So serious. Look at him. He's getting ready. Adjusting the pedals. Serious business. Oh, now he's got to put that seatbelt on. Enjoy the rest of our go karting. You go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.